Grace Church family, buenas tardes. This is Pastor Rick, freshly back from Cuba with Pastor Levi. We had a wonderful trip down there to our sister church. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for helping that church build their new templo. This Sunday, we're going to show pictures and give a, a report, an update on the amazing experience we had and the love that they have for us. Now, when we got back from Cuba, we hit the ground running because everybody is dealing with the coronavirus, as you know. Major organizations, including the University of Florida, NCAA, uh, the Gator Nationals even, uh, the National Basketball Association, so many are reducing the numbers of public gatherings or they're going fanless and that sort of thing while still carrying out their mission and what they're there for. We're gonna do the same thing. And so I want you to hear some of the things that we are putting into place from now through the end of March. Starting this Sunday, we are going to worship together as a church, but we're not gonna do it on the Grace Church campus. We're gonna do it online. So we encourage you to go to your Grace app, to go to Facebook Live if you're a part of the Facebook group, and watch the service together. We will go through uh, worship together. You'll hear the message. You'll have an opportunity even to give and to participate in that way online. And so we encourage everybody to, to do that with us Sunday. Also, all of the activities that we typically do on campus, we're encouraging you to find ways to do it creatively, using technology, social media, in homes, in different ways to minimize the effects or the growth of coronavirus at this time. That means our life groups, our youth group. That means our Wednesday night activities for adults, for children, worship dance, our dinners on Wednesday night, uh, and so many other things, scouting and Bible studies and classes that take place. For the next three weeks, we're taking a hiatus from meeting physically. So what we're going to ask you to do is to be creative, continue to check in on each other, to be there for one another and find other ways of doing studies together. Now, we will hold our primary elections here on campus next Tuesday. That's what we do as a, a county, and that will continue. And our offices will remain open Monday through Thursday of each week, as they always are. So take advantage of us there by coming by and seeing us, or if you need to meet up with us, we can still do that during the week. Uh, take time to stay in contact. What we're going to do is put out some daily devotionals that the pastors and others are going to bring so that we can actually stay in touch more frequently than when we just come on Sundays or Wednesdays. So look for those things. And uh, it, our classes and Bible studies will be brought through social media platforms as well. One more thing. We are looking at this not just as a way to mitigate the coronavirus, but to use it as an opportunity for us to be the church in this community. So look for more information you'll receive from us on how we might be a collection distribution uh, or collection site for food that we can distribute through food for the kid, for food for kids, uh, in order to take care of any needs that our community has uh, with food needs. Okay, so look for that. And in the meantime, let's be in prayer. Let's pray for those hardest hit by the coronavirus. Also, those who are most susceptible, our elderly population, anybody with immunosuppressed uh, uh, systems, our small children. Let's do personal hygiene that uh, reduces the likelihood of spreading this thing. Um, and then let's also uh, check in on one another uh, regularly. In my devotions this morning with my girls before they went to school, uh, we talked about uh, how Jesus walked on the water during the storm. And the, the, the fishermen, the disciples, some of them were fishermen, were frightened. And then they see this ghost walking on the water in the middle of the night. Jesus says, do not be afraid. It is I. It is Jesus. And one disciple had the, the, had the courage to stand up and say, if that's really you, Jesus, then, then command me to come out and walk on the water with you. And you know the story. Peter got out and walked on the water. Now, he took his eyes off, he saw the wind, he saw the waves, and Jesus restored him when he cried out, save me. And Jesus says, where is your faith? And that's a word for us and a word through us to our community and our world in this time. We are people of faith, not fear. We're not fear-driven, but we are part of this community in order to bring the kingdom of God to bear. So with our eyes on Jesus, we know that we can follow the one who is on top of this situation and not one sinking beneath it. All right, look for more communications from us, and thank you for getting the word out 
that church is going to be online, not in person, for the next three Sundays through March, and all classes on campus are going to be in other uh, creative ways. All right, God bless you, and we will talk more soon.